Hey Tubes, today we're going to plug a tire. I went out today and uh, the Tacoma had a, it wasn't really a flat, but it, it, you could tell it was, uh, didn't have enough air. Turns out we had this uh, little piece of steel in there, it looks like a square nail or something, a concrete nail maybe. But anyway, it's looking pretty good, you know, it's not like it's all plugged up, you can actually stick your ear down there and hear air coming out. You could, uh, I took it off just so I could uh, videotape and make, make this uh, little film of it for you. But the uh, good thing I did, because I had to take it off, I don't know if you see the inside there, but it's uh, kind of rusted, you know? And it was actually, look around the back here. You see, that's an aluminum, aluminum rim and then it's attached to a steel drum and then you get a, a funny kind of corrosion and stuff. So this thing was actually stuck on there, I had to take it out. Take it off with a, with a sledgehammer. Take a look at the, the thing you can actually see. Yeah, I had to use a little 10 pound sledge on it. But you can see where uh, all the white stuff is and everything, and then that steel rim. So it was stuck on there pretty good. I'm going to have to uh, sand that down and maybe put a little never seize on there. But anyway, I'm glad that I took a took the tire off instead of plugging it while it was on here because you can actually plug that while it's on the truck. Alright, let me get set up here and then, uh, then we'll do some plugging. Alright, I wire wheeled it in the wire wheel there. Wire wheeled it and uh, hit it with some sandpaper. So that's pretty clean. Now I'm going to put some uh, some of this uh, Never Seize on here, Any Seize. Permatex. Good stuff. All right. All right. Put the never sees on that. that. That should help. I always put it on the, the lugs and stuff like that, but maybe it'll prevent that that hub from rusting onto the wheel. All right. Let's go. Let's go do the wheel now. All right. I wire wheeled the rim there. Cleaned up pretty nice. But I found something. Uh, I learned something here. What did I see down here? I don't know if you can see that. Made in Canada, huh? Never knew that. It's an homage to all my little Canadian buddies up there. You guys know who you are. Grouter One, Sean C. Farm, Pimpin' Pens, oh, oh yeah, Brittany. Whole load of up there. You all know who you are. I can't remember you off the top of my head, but there you go. Road King riding around on Canadian rims. All right. Let me put some never sees on that and then we'll get get back to work here. Okay, we gotta be we gotta plug a tire. Here's something I thought maybe some of you might find pretty neat. When I uh, went to go get a plug, I looked in looked in my drawer, my uh, tire repair drawer, and uh, seen what I had, you know, and here's all the, the tools for putting them in and a bunch of plugs. There's even a, a kit that uh, wasn't even opened yet. And even these, these are strange little plugs, these are these are rubber. Most of them, uh, most of the plugs are made out of string and rubber going tar, but this is what I thought was pretty neat. I had these uh, tire kits, this one here. That was probably my father's, God only knows how old that is. But uh, that was pretty neat. And then this one, this is probably one of mine from way back in the 70s. And then uh, this one here is probably from the 80s. But anyway. Yeah, I looked at all that, and some of these I looked at, and you know, they're all dried out, and this this one will probably been good and work, but uh, you know, they're just uh, all dried out. I don't even know why I saved them. So what I did is, and even the new one, I got the whole new pack here. You know, instead of using that, I figured, what the hell, just go out and buy a new one for eight, nine bucks. You know, you got good cement, and and the glue and shit is all good, so. Uh, Eight, nine bucks, you know, don't even, don't even play around with that old shit. Alrighty. I thought, thought this can would be pretty cool. Alrighty. Alrighty, first thing I'm going to do is uh, take this piece of steel out. I'm going to use a pair of needle nose pliers here. Let's see where it is. There it comes. Wow. And they're pretty good. Huh. Yeah, it just looks like a, a hunk of steel. Not even a nail or something. I don't know if you can see that. But, 
I hate to say it, looks like something might have come from the driveway from one of the projects we were working on. Huh. I'll have to talk to my, my little buddy racer. I was telling they should have the driveway's clean, but it could very well have been me. Alright, now you're gonna take this this rasp that they give you, stick it in a hole. Not gonna be easy. Twist it in there. There we go. There we go. That just that cleans everything up and, and rounds it off, makes it easier to, to put the, the new shit in. Alright. Leave that in there till we get ready to for the next step. Alright, now what you're gonna do is uh, you take one of them little strings, where you at here, and you uh, you stick it through this little eyelet you got here, this T handle with the eyelet. And then uh, some guys they, they glue it, some guys they don't, you know, but uh, there's a reason they give you the glue in this. And uh, you just lube it up. I like to put the glue on there because it, it slips in easier. So uh, use plenty of glue. Because if you don't use it, it's only going to go bad anyway. It doesn't have to be exactly in the center of that thing, but because uh, you're going to cut a lot of it off, but get as close as the, the center as you can. All right. Now what we're going to do is uh, take this out, stick this in. Got to use a little ass. It's gone. Not going easy though. Actually, the T handle there is slipping in the bottom, so I've had that happen before. They don't give you the best tools. Right, that's about half. And then you just rip that thing out. And that should be it. You saw some snippers and snip it off. You're good to go. Now what I do is uh, test it, see if there's any, anything coming out. You got no air bubbles coming out. Not the best repair, but uh, it works. I only got 10, 20,000 miles left on the tire anyway. So, let me fill it up, put it back on the truck, and we're done. Alrighty. Alrighty. Got the tire on, I filled it up with air. It's got the right, correct pressure in it. We're all ready for cruising. So, I hope maybe somebody, uh, some of you guys might have learned something. You know, some of you guys might do it differently than I did, but uh, that's, that's how I do it, and I've never had any problems, so. Alrighty, talk to you later.